shoulders now. What we're going to do is we're going to go back to this ring and we're going to place that band under the grooves of the, of the ring. Again, make sure that, that the band is centered under that ring. We don't want one side longer than the other or your shoulder to be worked une not very equally. Grab the ball, put it on top of the ring, and we can sit down during this exercise. And grab a handle in each hand. It's important to sit up straight while doing these exercises because you're getting an extra workout. That's one of the uh, benefits of using a ball is you're using your core just to stabilize yourself while sitting on the ball. So make sure you sit up nice and straight. Keep that posture as good as you can. Think about what your mom always told you to do. Sit up straight. Go ahead and have your palms facing forward. Your hands are in those loops. What we're going to do, we're going to just reach straight up and have our hands meet in the middle. This is working our shoulders. We don't want to drop our elbows all the way down, just, just about shoulder level or a little bit below. Again, just do nice and slow. Concentrate on that form. Elbows are going out towards the sides of the room. We're going to do this 12 times. What I'm doing is taking you through each body part, doing sets of 12 repetitions for each exercise. What you want to do is go through this routine once, and then as you get stronger, you're going to work up to where you can go through the routine three times, doing each exercise 12 times. If the band, if, if this is too difficult, you want to find one of those thinner bands in your set, because that will make it a little easier. The thicker the band, the harder it is. And I believe that's about 12. The next shoulder exercise is called the front raise. You can do it one arm at a time, or you can use both arms. Again, we're going to sit on that ball, and try to stay nice and straight. You can just lift your arms up in front of you. you. Do not lift your hands above shoulder level. I'm doing two at a time. You can also just do one arm at a time and stick with doing 12 on one side, then doing 12 on the other side. You can alternate right, left, or if you want to save time, you can just simply do two at a time. And this is a front raise. Shoulders are a very small muscle. When you first start doing the exercises, they seem so easy. And then as you get towards those upper repetitions, it gets a little bit more difficult. They wear out really fast. chest, our back, and our shoulders. So we have totally worked out our upper body already. Next we're going to start focusing on our 